Hello there, my Capricorn Collective Sun, Moon, Rising Sign. Welcome to your What Do I Need read for this new moon in October, which is new moon in Scorpio, to a full moon next in November. It'll be full moon in Taurus. I am your reader for the moment, Mark Angelo Lyons, Mal for short. All my friends call me Mal. Please call me Mal. <laughs> Uh, president of Drawing the Circle Productions, professional witch, professional intuitive, and very, very happy to be doing this work on YouTube this way. It's a lot of fun, a creative journey. I finally got my camera filter set so that it's not so damn bright. You can actually see a card when I hold it up to the camera. Isn't that helpful? Yeah. To my newbies, welcome, welcome, welcome. Please like and subscribe. And to my subscribers, thank you so very much uh, for following along, for liking and commenting and sharing and all that stuff to get my numbers up there slow and steady wins the race <clears throat> i'm very excited to do super live chat once i hit 1000 subscribers so if you have not yet subscribed please do because that's just going to be a whole lot of fun uh really quickly this is a quickie read meaning hopefully under 20 minutes although i've gone over on one or two i think because uh, we're only pulling five cards, one card each from five different decks. The decks that I read are in the description box below, and please do have a browse through my description box. There's a lot of info on there. I'm a Virgo, so I really, you know, you know Earth sign. <laughs> you know all my data is on there, the books that I've written, all ebooks, right? So you don't even have to, like, carry nothing around except on your phone or your device. So just go check me out. I've got a lot of cool stuff. I've been doing this forever. <laughs> it feels like I have been doing this in one form or another since I'm 12 years old. So slow and steady wins the race, right, uh, right Capricorn? So uh, this is Sun, Moon, Rising. It's not going to resonate for everybody. That's why I did Sun, Moon, Rising. All the readings I do are Sun, Moon, Rising, whatever other planet makes sense for the reading itself, however I'm guided. So if it's not for you, just go check your other signs. It's, it's what we all have to do when we're watching readings on YouTube, isn't it? So let's get down to business. I already blessed the decks for the Capricorn Collective Sun, Moon, Rising time for this new moon to full moon next. What do I need uh, is a different kind of read. It's, it's not about where you are on your path or where's the money or where's my true love. I have other readings for that, right? And you can find other readings for that stuff. Why has he ghosted me? Why isn't she returning my calls, right? No, this is what do I need. It's a declarative question to the divine, hence divination systems. We're going to ask the divine what you need, right? It's just like picking a card of the day, except this is for an extended period of time, right? Waxing moon from the moon to full moon next. So let's get down to business. Here we go. Hmm, my collective pantheons of angels, gods, masters, and higher selves, please. One archetype card from the Caroline Mace archetype deck. For this Capricorn Collective Sun Moon Rising sign for this new moon to full moon next. What do they need? What is the archetype they need to focus on within themselves or in their lives? What is the soul power that they need to alchemize from shadow to light, from lead to gold for the well-being of all? Please, one card in clarity. Oh, the victim archetype. Now, don't click off. The vi everybody has the victim archetype. It is one of the survival family archetypes, a child the victim, the saboteur, and the prostitute. Now, the victim archetype, every archetype has lead and gold, right? Oh, still, the lighting's not perfect, but we should, oh, there, you can see it's a shadow. Uh, the the light side, is, side of the, the victim, the gold part of the victim archetype, again, that everybody has, is the victor, as in the spoils of war go to the victor. So whenever this card bumps up, it is a huge alchemical opportunity to transform lead into gold, shadow into light, uh, to, to really set new boundaries and uh, uh, self-esteem, right? And to keep you from being victimized and whether or not you are victimizing yourself. Sometimes we don't realize we're, we're victimizing ourselves uh, until we see that we do. So always very helpful. Um, also, you might be dealing with somebody who is playing the victim role, right? The poor me stuff. So you might want to keep an eye on that too. But before I read what's on that card, let's get uh, the four other cards down so we at least get five clear pieces of the puzzle. I do that part intellectually for the most part. And then when they're all out on the table, I shift into divine feminine mode, my natural stance. And I put it all together uh, intuitively. So my angels... Please get the hair off my nose. Please, one card in clarity for this Capricorn Collective. Sun, moon, rising sign for this 
new moon to full moon next. What do they need, considering that the collective pantheons are saying they need to deal with the victim archetype into victor archetype in one way or another? What say you? What do they need for this new moon to full moon next? Nature, which, you know, has a couple of different meanings. Yes, of course, go out in nature. Nature is the pure embodiment of fifth dimensional unity consciousness, right? If you've ever read the Celestine Prophecy, right? That third insight, right? About seeing energy fields and the fifth insight about building energy really can experience your oneness with all nature. But this also uh, refers that you need to look at the nature or experience the nature of something, perhaps the nature yourself, the nature of a relationship, the nature of your work, something that is inherent. But like nature grows and evolves, hopefully. <laughs> if, if we're playing our cards right, <laughs> pun, no pun intended, pun intended too. I'm, I'm always pun intended. So let's ask the gods. Now, the, the goddess that sits in my throne of Capricorn, she sits there solo, is the goddess Persephone. Trifold goddess, spring maiden, summer lady, which is where she's really at her most lethal, that, that heat of the sun that just burns, scorches, and destroys, dehydrates, as well as gives light. And a queen of the underworld, right? Queen of the underworld for six months. And she's in the underworld, so I'm digging her. I love Persephone. Uh, so let's ask my gods, please, one card in clarity for this Capricorn Collective Sun, Moon, Rising Sign. What do they need for this new moon to full moon next? Considering the collective pantheons, of which you are part, say they're dealing with the victim archetype. They need the victim archetype into victory. They need a victory here. Uh, the angels say the card of nature, that there's something there about nature, so please one card in clarity for this Capricorn Collective Sun, Moon, Rising Sun. What do they need for this new moon to full moon? Next, ooh, straight up, strength, right? The strength card, so something about courage, about going forward, about not suppressing that lioness there, right? That passion, that fire, that courage, and uh, not repressing it, not letting it run wild either, holding it in strength. It's about fortitude, emotional fortitude and passion fortitude. So uh, you have the strength to do this or you need to look at your own interior strength. This is not the kind of strength about, you know, picking up the coffee table and throwing it across the room. This is about soul strength, the grace of endurance, which is also in my book, Words of Grace. Just saying, right? Oh, the crone grace, the grace of fortitude that I'm, may I have the grace of endurance, the crone grace to endure whatever is necessary on my path for everything is happening to help me evolve, right? So help me endure that. I don't have to like it. I don't have to be happy about it. I just need to endure it and survive it. Yeah, that's coming through pretty strong. So let's ask the masters. The ascended masters are essentially higher vibrational beings who went through earth school, right? Went through the whole earthly curriculum. Uh, in the fifth dimension and above, where we're all headed into that fifth dimensional unity consciousness. So they reach back through the dimensions to help, but usually only when asked. And sometimes I guess they intervene without being asked, but if you just say, please help me, that's the invitation. So, so let's ask the masters. My masters, what do you see here? One card of clarity from the Chuck Spazano Womp Womp deck, the love pack. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Uh, please, what say you? What does this Capricorn collective sun, moon, rising sign need for this new moon to full moon next? Considering the collective, the, the pantheonic collective, says the victim, the angels, the card of nature, the gods, the card of strength. What say you? My masters, this one on the bottom? Okay, this one on the bottom. Oh, good, responsiveness. Yeah, it's not a womp womp card, actually. Which one is this? This is part of the luck suit, right? Yeah. Responsiveness, so a strength to respond rather than react. Oh, that makes sense, because there's a difference between response and reaction. Reaction is uh, like a knee-jerk reaction, right? It's reflexive, it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> response is considered, it comes from the soul, it comes from a more heart-centered, open-minded place. This feels very good for a waxing moon, gotta say, but let's get this uh, last card down from the whispers of love. This is the voices, the whispers of love from the higher selves of all involved, meaning your higher self, the higher self of anybody else involved, and to an extent mine, because I'm doing the readings, all right? So please, the higher selves of all involved. 
pain. Let's not shoot the cards across the table. One card in clarity instead of five. One card in clarity for this Capricorn collective sun, moon, rising sign for this new moon to full moon next. Considering that the collective pantheon say the victim archetype to be alchemized into victory. The angels are talking about the card of nature, either being literally in nature and or there's a possibility that it's both connecting with this Capricorn's true nature. The gods are talking about the strength card, emotional fortitude, right? Bravery, courage, that no matter what it is that I have to go through, I choose to go through this being bold, being brave, leading with an open heart, and with that responsiveness, absolutely about responding rather than reacting, which makes sense with that strength card. So please, one card in clarity, a whisper of love for this Capricorn collective sun, moon, rising sun. What do they need for this new moon to full moon next? <laughs> you got the true love card, right? True love. Now, true love, I'm writing a book on it. My editor is working on it right now uh, called The Path of True Love, and that's why I do Path of True Love readings and soulmate readings and twin flame readings, and I'm also going to be doing uh, the True Love collective reading before November comes. Uh, so, you know, The Path of True Love, it is rough. It is a warrior's path. True loves cannot be denied, so when someone denies it, it's like what happens when the hero denies the call to the hero's journey, right? Think Star Wars, right? Think Luke Skywalker, right? Well, the first movie in the original canon, right? A New Hope, yeah. Where, you know, Luke is called on the journey. He says, no, he comes home. Whole family's dead, damn Sandwalkers, right? That's what happens. So, you know, the, the, there is a calling here. You are being asked to respond with strength and courage. So let me, let me read this victim archetype. Let's, let's get this one out of the way because I know, first card down, I'm sure a lot of people are like, fuck that, <laughs> I don't blame you. But like everybody has this one, corporations have it, nations have it, everything has uh, the four survival archetypes, the victim being one of them. So the light attribute prevents you from letting yourself be victimized or victimizing others. And that doesn't that just go really well with this card of strength and responsiveness, right? Absolutely. Uh, the shadow attribute, playing the victim for positive feedback in the form of pity, inability to maintain personal boundaries. So you're, you need your boundaries in place. You need uh, self-esteem is not a noun, it's a verb. It's the action of estimating. Like, so what's an estimate? It's like a guess, right? It's like, oh, it feels this way. So, uh, you know, to estimate yourself as worthy of everything and just keep in mind one of the hardest mystical truths for any of us is that everything that's happening whether we like it or not we don't have to like it right sometimes it's great sometimes it just sucks everything is happening to help us evolve grow heal become the best that we can be and fulfill our role in the divine plan and to to bring us to our heart's desires and to bring forth true love just not in a partner situation but through ourselves, right? So we add that with this card of nature. So absolutely, I would say spend time in nature, recharge, even if it's staring out a window, right? Connect with nature. And by the way, nature ain't just trees and beaches, it's it's animals, you know? So spend time with your animal family, your fur family, if you have them. If not, if it's cold where you are, because I know it's getting colder here on Long Island, right? bundle up, go outside, go for a walk, even if it's just standing in your yard or standing on your stoop, go stare at a tree and go read Celestine Prophecy, James Redfield's old book, but it is a really, really good one. And that would make sense to help you what? Choose your strength, build your strength, to draw upon the power of nature, right? To set your boundaries in a way where I am going to let into my boundaries the pure fifth dimensional unity consciousness, the love, the light of nature right as well as there's something here all right i hear that too is that there's something here about your natural strength that you are stronger than you realize you call you need that strength you need to call upon that strength so that you can what respond respond with honesty with truth but with loving compassionate truth truth truce maybe that's a jungian slip there <laughs> uh is the his holiness the dalai lama who, who I learned it from said, 
truth without com without compassion is brutality, right? So a considered response, do not jump the gun, hold back, don't just react, respond. You need to do that. Why? Because you got the true love card here. This love is a once in a lifetime love. So whatever your fears are, sure. Have, have you been victimized in a relationship before? Who the fuck hasn't, right? From, from womb to tomb, we go through a lot on the path of true love, right? We go through a, a lot of stuff, but it teaches us how to love ourselves. It teaches, it's why it's happening for us. And that's why you can hate every second of it, but you can be enthusiastic in the sense of saying, all right, well, fuck this, then I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna heal, I'm gonna learn, I'm gonna grow. Because true love is unconditional, fifth dimensional, all encompassing love. Bingo, right? That feels really, really, really good. So uh, my Capricorn Collective Sun Moon Rising sign, there is victory here for you. If you can keep that in mind, that when you feel yourself playing victim, or if you are dealing with someone who is playing victim, put up your boundaries. Doesn't mean you have to cut them off and ghost them, but you can certainly say, all right, if I'm going to go into this, I'm going to respond and I'm going to respond with open hearted strength. Because if that is your true nature, because that is our true nature, what are we kidding? We are we are eternal souls that were chosen to play these roles in this earth plane, right? Though the name of the character I play is Mark Angelo Lyons, that's not my true name, right? My true name, well, I'm not gonna say what my true name is because I, I got a couple of different ones there in different dimensional languages. Uh, but if you get that, it's like, I was chosen. I chose, but I was chosen to play this role. So my nature is true love and that's the truth of the matter love. So my Capricorn Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, thank you so much for watching. I hope you got something out of this. Please like and subscribe. Help me get my numbers up to 1,000 so I can do super live chat and I can curse like a sailor and make you all laugh while giving you the clearest intuitive divine guidance and grace that I can deliver. So let me end with this. May the Capricorn Collective Sun, Moon, Rising signs be blessed with all that they need for this new moon to full moon next to grow, to heal, to learn, to evolve, to set boundaries, to, to practice healthy self-estimation, to attain their true nature, to embrace their true nature, to estimate their true nature while connecting perhaps with nature, that that strength, that courage, the divine sacred heart, the divine feminine heart, just being strong and enduring and getting through while they respond with true love, to true love, for true love for the well-being of all, and so it is. I love you all so much, my Capricorns. Have a really, really good uh, new moon to full moon next. Check your other signs, check your other readings. I have playlists for all of the signs that I do, which is all 12, <laughs> so have at it. And by all means, hail, farewell, and blessed be.